college was always like intriguing to me and I always wanted to go to college and I always wanted to go like join a sorority but um I just kind of wanted like that sisterhood and friendship and then I joined and, and I also met um Joni <laughs> while I was going through so I was just like I knew I wanted to be an alpha fee because I wanted to be like Joni <laughs> so yeah the thing that really pulled me into be it was like the final day, that final, literally that final moment before I had to go rank and all that jazz. And um, one of the members called me out by name. I hadn't talked with her like for most of the week and her maybe like once. And that is what stuck me. I was like, she remembers me as a person, like just not as another face or anything like that. Like, it was me. So as I was going through recruitment, um, I didn't really know if I ever wanted to be in a sorority because I was never thought that I was a sorority type of girl. So, um, but when I came to Fee, they, none of them even seemed like they were really the sorority type. They were all just like themselves, like they didn't have to be perfect all the time. They were real people and they just liked to hang out with each other and have a lot of fun. Well, I joined because when I was going through recruitment, I liked the other houses, but it just wasn't the same. And I think once I decided that I wanted to be B, I kind of was the only way to go. <laughs> I wanted a home away from home and a place where I could belong. Um, I just wanted to um, have a family that was that supported me throughout my college career. I joined up with B because I was a B, and um, Amanda, who's now my big, um, basically just told me all the reasons why she loved it, and like we were on the same floor in the L LC. And uh, I don't know, she just talked me into it, so I decided to give it a try. I was kind of skeptical at first, but it turned out to be good. Well, I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself, and back in high school I was never really confident, but definitely joining sorority got me out of my little comfort bubble that I was in. I joined Alpha Phi for the, not only the environment, but also the girls. Um, when I first joined Phi, there was like maybe 15 girls, maybe less than that in the house. And it was just a lot of fun just to get to know all them personally during recruitment. And I just loved being around them. But what made this the decision for me was I went into recruitment with very like negative, closed mind, just gonna try it out. But like after meeting the girls, I just felt so comfortable. And like these girls that I knew for three days, I feel like I they knew me better than people I'd known in high school for years. So that definitely made the decision for me. The very first day I walked into Alpha Phi, like the room that we were in, uh, they had black polos with a, a hint of green and they were wearing jeans and, and just the, the song that they sang to me, I just fell in love right away. And I knew that even though that they were the very first party, I knew that they were the ones that I wanted to, to be with and it happened to work out that way. I chose Fee because it was after I left on pref night, it was my last pref, and after I left, I started crying because I didn't think that they were gonna choose me. And that's how I knew that I really wanted to be in fee was the fact that if I didn't get to go back, I was gonna be devastated. I decided to join fee because it just, I don't know, it just felt like home right away. Everyone here was so relaxed when I talked to them and everything. It just felt like I was talking to a friend that I've known for years, which is nice and fun. <laughs> well, really honestly, I didn't know anybody at school, so, um, and I transferred halfway through the year. My sister was already here. She was a couple years older than I am, so she was like, Haley, you have to get out there and meet people, and um, that's the best way to do it. So I joined because of her. I do a lot of things because of her. I stayed in Alpha Phi 
has been not only because of like the good friends that I've made in Alphafi, but like all the opportunities I've been able to um, get through Alphafi. Like if it weren't for Alphafi, I wouldn't know I was becoming because of all the girls and like good vibes I have surrounding me after joining Alphafi. I didn't want to leave that. Amy, who's my roommate now, like I met her, I was a sophomore and she came in a freshman and at the beginning I didn't like her, <laughs> she knows that, and um, it didn't take very long for us to click though, and uh, like we became roommates and stuff, and, and then Delaney, um, Delaney and I have actually gotten a lot closer um, this year, senior year, so, and it's just crazy, now we're seniors, and like, how far we've come, both of us, starting from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> And there are a lot like Britney Knapp, like I remember when uh, um, she uh, was thinking about joining Alpha Phi and she still had it and I was sitting on her bed and I was telling her all these great things about Alpha Phi and she's like okay like and I brought her over and she talked to Casey uh, and then all of a sudden she was a fee and she had signed and she was a fee uh, and uh, seeing how you know me and her have stuck through it too uh, for our four years and um, then of course it's Joni, who's my ride or die. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of good friendships that have come from that. One of my favorite semesters so would have to be uh, the semester that I spent with Joni and Brittany and Three Girl. Um, it was like we had the best like roommate situation ever. Like none of us ever got on each other's nerves. We were just perfect, and they're like. Um, we always had fun, uh, and uh, that was the last semester before Joni graduated too, so it was nice having to spend it with her. Definitely make the best of it. Like, if I had to say something, it would be uh, what you put into Alpha Phi is what you'll get out. So don't hold anything back. Don't leave with any regrets. Put all you have into it, and uh, it will be definitely worth it. Everyone I could tell had that genuine aspect that I saw that last night of recruitment. They were just here all the time. I could just call up some random person, even if I haven't hung out with them in months, and I could be like, hey, can we go get like coffee or ice cream or can we just talk? I like, just have any event, I need to talk, like I don't know what to do right now. But it was just I always knew someone in this house in this chapter would be willing to drop what they're doing and go help a sister out. My name is Joni Wiley, and so not many people remember her, but um, she is the craziest lady I know, but she's also the most organized and active individual I know. Um, she was in like literally every organization possible here on campus. She was homecoming queen, like she was just like that top dog. I'm like. You're awesome, like, yes. My little is Nicole Templemeyer, and she, I don't even know. Like, she honestly didn't start out as my little. She was the little of one of my best friends here. But when my friend moved away to go back to Washington, um, she asked me to adopt Nicole, and I was more than excited to, because even while you know, she was my little, we still hung out all the time and just got along and after three years of her being my little, like, I don't know, we, we are that match made in heaven, I feel. You know what, I think one of my favorite memories was when I was living in V. We went through this phase, me and my two roommates, because we were living in Four Girl. Went through this phase of getting McFlurries from McDonald's at midnight, literally almost every single night. And I don't know why, but it kind of was an obsession. And we were very proud of that and did not even care because it was awesome. But yeah, definitely just everything about Four Girl when I lived in the house. This is where like all of my favorite memories come from. Um, I would say that a, live in the house, because like I said earlier, 
all of my favorite memories came from living in. Like, you do not get to know a sister, a friend, as well as when you are literally living with them. Being, just remember why you joined. For me, it's remember that everyone's different, everyone is genuine, everyone is here for the same reason. You are one big family, you are all sisters. So, you know, you have to just take it as it is. But just remember in the long run why you're here and why you guys are all together. And then finally, just don't be afraid to be yourself. Um, but here especially, so that's the last thing we want. We want you to be yourself. We want to know who you are as a person. Just don't ever second guess about being yourself around these girls. My aha moment with Alfie was when we came back to summer retreat, it was like, I never knew how much I actually like would miss everybody, but when you come back, you're like wanting to see everybody and they want to see you the same way. Like, even when you go home to your hometown, those friends don't even greet you back home the way that the girls here do. Like, they've missed you that much and you don't, you don't realize it until on your way back or until you get back to the house that like, it just means so much to you and that you wouldn't want to have a summer or a school year without the girls that are here and out. My big is Amanda Haug. Um, she is <laughs> this is just crazy and I think that her being my big helps me a little bit just because she's kind of wild and out there and it kind of brought me out too because like I was pretty shy my first year or two but now I'm just I mean I can get pretty much not maybe not as crazy as Amanda but it's, I don't know, I love hanging out with her. She's a she's a blast to hang out with. Okay, my little is Kelsey Boss. Um, it kind of goes back to retreat why I think we're perfect. Uh, we're both kind of shy people, but I grabbed her and told her to come stay with me that weekend. And we are pretty much almost the same person. So it was a lot of fun getting to know her and like be having that bond with her that you don't get to have with really anybody else. This is kind of like, it's kind of embarrassing, but kind of is more goofy. Uh, there's a girl out there named Claire, she really likes to make fun of me and my voice. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes, but you know, I just have to play along with it because she says, I guess I talk like a man, so she has to think <laughs> she makes fun of me a lot, especially in meeting. So it's lots of fun just to glare at her all the time, but no, it makes me, makes me love her even more. So my advice for the younger members is to just like, Take everything in and just move along with things you move along with. Like, just let it go, have a good time. Like you're not gonna get along with everyone, but you are like all sisters. You're all there for each other, that's what you have to remember. I mean, me and my actual sister, some days I hate her. Most of the time I love her. That's how it is here. Like you will have the best of times and some of the worst of times with these girls, but you just gotta move on because they're here for you and that's all that really does matter. house because of the friendships that I made mostly and uh, I have a fantastic big and I had fantastic roommates and just getting to know people and everything made sense. Uh, my big's name is Desiree. Um, my big ended up being my big I think because she's my roommate. The very first semester I joined the house really early and we became roommates and um, we're still roommates so uh, we've lived together for about four years now and we live in a house off the campus and it's fantastic. Little is Abby, and she's fantastic. And we became big and little because we have a mutual love for Mexican food. I don't know, everything just made sense. We both have the same quirky, quirky sense of humor, and we enjoy the same uh, just fun activities and enjoy being around each other. Um, I think my favorite moments in Phoebe was uh, living in room four with Katie B and Delaney because awesome the whole time. We ended up living actually a full year of pretty much just the three of us and it's probably the best time that I had in this house just living with them. Basically just don't give up and keep going even though you know there's always ups and downs with every relationship and you kind of think about fears being in a relationship because 
there's always going to be times that are hard and times that are fantastic and those hard times, if you make it through them, they're worth it when you have the fantastic time. So it's really um, easy to say because um, they're always there and it's really helpful to have somebody um, with you through the good times and the bad times. Okay, so my littles are Elizabeth and Haley LeBlanc and I love them because they're both so different um, and Elizabeth's kind of like my wild child um, and I can always count on her for like a good story or um, a great time and Haley is the sweetest girl I know and she's always there for me. Um, she's the biggest supporter probably um, and I learn a lot from her. So probably one of my favorite memories um, is the fact that I have a sister um, and growing up I always wanted a sister. I wanted somebody who I could stay up late at night with and like paint fingernails and talk um, and just kind of have like that best friend that um, you live with. And so my favorite memory throughout Fee is being able to live with a bunch of different girls and um, I have a sister and we can do fun things like paint our nails and talk about boys and um, stay up real late at night, eat popcorn and just the fact that we can um, really be sisters. Um, some words of advice would be to just enjoy it uh, and sometimes it's so easy to get caught up in all the homework that needs to be done and um, work and just everything you have going on in your life and just kind of embrace it. One day you'll be looking back on all these memories um, and you want to remember all these times with, that you spent with your sisters and not um, the time that you spent crying over homework assignments that so you want um, more of those memories with your sisters in your life. Um, my biggest by far aha moment was when my little contacted me over winter break one year and told me that she has heart disease. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like since our philanthropy is cardiac care, um, it just really hit close to home. And I don't know, like the money that we raise goes to people to like help them with their heart disease and I know that the money that we're giving just, like indirectly helps. My big is Amanda Hauck, and I feel like she's perfect for me because she just had such a great attitude about Alpha T um, whenever she wanted to see Albini. And I feel like whenever we're together, we just always have the best time, and we're not afraid to be just crazy in front of each other um, and tell each other everything. So. My littles are Natalie Walker and Stephanie Brown, and I think that I just love being a role model, model for them but they're also a role model for me, so I really look up to them. Um, I feel like I learn things from them all. My favorite memory is when I had my ring pass. Um, I recently got engaged, and before, I had to keep it a secret for a whole month before I could tell anybody, because I knew that I wanted all my sisters to find out at the same time, so nobody like you know, feels more important than the other or whatever. And, um, so I kept it a secret, and when we had my ring pass, it was amazing because nobody knew that it was mine besides my littles. Because these girls will be your friends for life, not just for four years. And it's really important to just be yourself and be who you want to be, not who you think you should be. They'll love you no matter what. When I met you in the summer, to my heart beat sound. We fell in love. My aha moment, besides, you know, getting my big and getting my little, um, I would have to say my very first retreat back in 2012. And I still, like, didn't really know what to expect because I was, you know, brand new in the sorority. But after hearing everyone's stories and how they just, you know, shared their deepest, darkest secrets, it's like crazy how we all just have different stories but all of our stories just come together and yeah, intertwine. <laughs> well my big is the president Macy. She is such a good role model for me and she's always there and it's it's really weird because I didn't know my major till I was like a sophomore. Like I decided the very last possible minute because I I was so clueless, I didn't know what to choose, and I figured out that I, I just loved to write, and so I changed my major, 
and it's funny because she changed her major too and we have the same exact major so we both thought we were going in one direction and completely went in the opposite direction but we both are in the same boat so we have a lot of classes together now which is weird because I thought I'd be doing science but now it's all like reading and writing so we're that much alike and we have the same exact majors so my little is Taylor Vogt and she is an exact replica of me like I didn't know that someone out there existed that likes every single possible thing that I do and I'm not just saying that because um, I think your little should be exactly like you but she is me to a T and um, for the spring luncheon all of the seniors were invited and all of the alums were invited as well and just seeing everyone, you know, after all this time come back to Fee and people were celebrating their, some of them were celebrating their 50th year of being a member. And so just seeing these cute little elderly ladies, like they're all in Alpha Phi and they all, this is still all so important to them, really brought back you know, this old saying where everyone says, you know, it's more than just your college years, it's, it's for your life, so. Um, I would have to say that everything happens for a reason, and everyone is here for a reason. And it's not just random, so these girls are going to be your lifelong best friends, so if you're having a rough time, you got to remember that, you know, you're part of something bigger than yourself. And them keep doing your thing. Let these boys keep slipping, man. I'm not into gymnastics, but I'm into flipping things. Um, why I stayed was for the girls. Like, definitely like, being in this house, like everything it stood for, nationally wise, I just could not ever see myself leaving. And it's definitely gonna be hard leaving and graduating and not being a part of this great house where you're gonna meet awesome people who you might not have been able to have met and have been able to experience their life experiences with them if I never joined them. Um, my biggest is Jenny Wiley. Um, she graduated about three years ago. So she's in grad school right now. But I feel like we were perfect because we had a lot of the same interests. Um, we had a lot of the same fun. Um, we got along together. You know, she was a girl that I definitely could talk to. She was a girl that I technically stopped during recruitment. Um, she was a sock and I met her and I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's so cool. Like I have to figure out what sorority she's in and I'm going to join that one. And my little, I have multiple little, littles, but the one that's currently in the house is Michaela Lazo. And I just met her and I fell in love with her. Like she was definitely very hyper and very happy and very, you know, she had an energy about her that was just contagious. And I just loved that about her and I met her and I was just like, whoa, like we could really talk and we could have a serious conversation. Like I felt like I could tell her anything and I hopefully she feels like she can tell me anything, but she's a girl that I definitely have kept in touch with a lot. Definitely fall 2009 when I joined the house that whole semester. Um, that's right, you know, with the recruitment, as I look through the pictures of recruitment, I realized that on preference night I wore a red dress and didn't realize it until I was like, wow, uh, subconsciously, like I had multiple dresses and subconsciously picked the red one. And so that was a really great memory, but definitely um, stay involved. So it's, you definitely get in what you put out. Um, so if you're, if you don't, if you're not into it, you know, try, try to do more, like try to reach out to those other members, try to reach out to the older members, because they definitely want to get to know you, they've been here so long, there's a reason why they've been here for three, four, five years, and it's always good to, you never know, you might find a friend. She tells me all the time she has an aha moment. She'll tell me anybody. But I've never had one exact moment that's just, this is why I'm here. It's just a kind of a culmination of just being in the house and being around such awesome, sweet girls every day. And just the entire experience from day to day. Rachel Klaus is my adopted big. She sure is. Um, 
we are meant to be from start to finish. Um, she just gets me. She just does. I mean, it's one of those things you can't really explain. We've just always gotten along. Hannah Howe is my little, and she's the best little in the whole entire world. We're like the same person. Um, not just because we start with H's, but we really are. She she gets me too, and somehow, somehow we just clicked. One of the best, most epic moments of Alfie existence would have to be the Harlem Shake with Room Three Girls. Um, Britt Swan, Lenny Tran, and I. We uh, definitely Harlem Shake. You have to look that up on Facebook. It's pretty awesome. The biggest thing is just to be open to new things and don't worry about the little things that you know get you down. Sometimes people get hung up on drama or whatever, and just you know you're here to you're only in college once. Uh, live it up. Um, I think my aha moment was our first retreat, just because like open my eyes to these backgrounds that we all have that are so different yet we all have that love for Alpha Phi and we all combine together. My big is Britt Swan. She's in the Marines right now and um, I think when I joined or when I was thinking about coming into Alpha Phi she was the brand new president and she's like the first person I started talking to <clears throat> and then as a new member whenever I had questions I'd always come to her and she always was so happy to see me and I just felt just so like I could open up to her and tell her anything that was going on. My little's Lauren and Lauren Costusic and I think she just brings out the weird in me. Like when we're together, like a lot of people don't know how weird I really am, but I'm pretty weird. And my fiance knows I'm pretty weird. But Lauren brings it out pretty well and I feel like I'm just not afraid to be weird with her because I know she's pretty weird. So I think we make a good weird big little couple, I guess. Um, I think an embarrassing moment that I always tell like me members when they are really scared like at formal meeting dinners um, was when I was a brand new member like I think it was my very first formal dinner I came with Allison and we were sitting at this table with Macy and we were like the last three people and we were about to eat our salad and I was just so nervous like I didn't know what to do or how to sit and so I grabbed the gravy and I put it on my lettuce and I'm like oh this is it this isn't salad dressing. And so I was trying to pretend that I didn't realize that it was gravy, so I was trying to eat it, but it was so disgusting. And Allison and Macy knew what happened, and they were like, you just put gravy on your salad. And I was like, yeah, I know. I was hoping no one noticed. And we always talk about it, because it was just so embarrassing for me, because I was so nervous. Um, for you members, I think, like, a big issue, I guess, this year has been, like, the lack of sisterhood. But I feel like... That's something that, you know, it's going to happen every year, like people are going to get busy and it's not necessarily that people don't want to hang out together, it's just, you know, things come up, but just remember that there are good times and there are bad times. I think my aha moment was during the summer retreat. We do the exercise where we all tell our aha moment and uh, everybody was sitting there bawling like big babies and I don't know I just I missed everyone so much and I didn't realize how much I missed them until after I saw them and the whole summer was over. I had two littles. Macy Miller went to the Alfie down in Wichita um, and then Maureen who is still here um, in Alfie at Washburn. She is like my other half. She, her and I, we can be goofy together, and um, we twin all the time, not knowing that we're going to. I think that's how all things and littles are, so I love her. I have a lot of embarrassing moments because I'm an awkward person, but I think when I was director of ceremonies and I was trying to find a couple of the girls to come and serve, I was wearing my pantyhose underneath my dress and my big high heels and I was coming down the stairs way too quickly and I busted my butt and my legs were wide apart in my dress and everybody saw I was really embarrassed. My advice is not to give up 
because like I said, it's a roller coaster and you're gonna have your ups and downs and there's going to be times when you question if you should be an alpha fee anymore. But um, just with past experience and knowing girls who quit, they, they regret it after they quit and, and I'm just so happy that I never, you know, felt that way and stayed in First things first. Um, I think that it's not necessarily like an aha moment, but part of the reason why I stayed was um, I did have a really good babe, and she was probably one of the main reasons I stayed. I mean, I love Fee no matter what, but she definitely helped me along through the two years she was here with me. And I went through some hard times during those two years and even after and she was always there for me and just was a really good big for me. Well, Joni is my big and I just felt the most comfortable with her. She just always, we always could talk about anything and um, even after we became big and little, we figured out we have so much in common even though we're like two totally different people. She's like the crazy person and I'm like the stay at home and study person. <laughs> so it was just crazy how it worked out and we still talk today. Lizzie is my little and I've known Lizzie for a really long time and um, I was really excited when she went through recruitment and then when she became a fee I was just like yes! <laughs> I was like, yay! And then um, when she became my little, I was so ecstatic. I was like, she's gonna be a great part of our family. She fits right in. She's a lot like Joni, <laughs> creepy. But um, yeah, I just love her to death. I think one of my favorite memories was, um, it was during the summer and Yuli and Joni were staying in the house. So they were here all summer. And it was the last Harry Potter, and everybody knows I'm a Harry Potter fanatic, and I had to go see the last Harry Potter. Well, I went to the Topeka movie theaters like two weeks before it came out. They were already sold out tickets. I'm like, oh my god, my life is ruined. <laughs> so I go to Legends, and they actually have a whole theater still open. So I get tickets, and it's just funny because, like, even though they're not as Harry Potter fanatic as I am, um, Joni made us shirts that said I heart Harry Potter, Yuli got us glasses, and I got the tickets, and they took me to Legends, and we watched the last Harry Potter, and yeah. And then watching Joni watch Dumbledore die, which she didn't know that was going to happen, that was really funny. Um, I would just say to get to, try to get to know everybody, you never know who you're going to really click with. Um, me and Delaney, we were... We didn't really know each other through recruitment. We didn't really know each other starting out in fee. Um, and then we became twins and we still didn't really hang out. And then a year after that happened, like the next semester, something just clicked between us and we've been inseparable ever since. And it's awesome to have a really good friend like that to know that she'll be there for the rest of my life because we're just awesome people together. <laughs> how to explain it. We feed off each other. So just get to know people that you wouldn't necessarily probably think about and it'll probably end up feeling awesome. I guess the first aha moment was that I had come over here to the house to do my house duty. I had a really bad day. I met some people that I did not want to meet from the past, and they thought it was just hilarious to keep on, I guess if the word is bullying me. And so they just make snide comments and stuff, and so it was like repetitive. So I just had a really bad day. I came over here, did my house duty. I saw my big, and she was asking me what was wrong. And I told her what was up, so she took me out to get um, ice cream. And on our way, just from the second floor down to the first one, we had seen so many other people, and they were willing to come along and just listen to me rant and all that stuff. And I knew that this is the house I was supposed to be in because everyone was just concerned, even if they didn't even know me. My big is Angela Jepson, who is no longer an Alpha Fee, but um, the reason is because she is part of the Air Force. So 
So it's just kind of hard to juggle like going to training and all that stuff when we had events. So she thought it would just be best, but love her just because of the aha moment. She was there for me. She's even here for me now, even though she's not a part of the chapter. Because like the saying is, we're always sisters no matter what. My little is Audrey, who is the one that's making this fabulous video. <laughs> and why do you love me? I love her because we're in the same major. We can always talk about anything and everything since then we've grown. And she's always helping me with a whole bunch of like filming video stuff. And she knows what she's doing and I don't. <laughs> The favorite moment is bid days when all the girls are running down the hill slash um, initiation because that's the day when the big reveal comes and we get to be united with our littles and they finally get to know who we are and then after that we just go out and have dinner and we come back and just have fun watch a movie or play games whatever. My advice for the younger members is have an open mind. Like, things are not always going to be the same. They're always going to change no matter what. Like, even though we tell you this is what we did last semester, it might not be what we do this semester just because of the numbers that come in. So we're getting bigger, and so we're having to adjust to the growth and stuff. So have an open mind, and the one thing out of that also is just to have fun. music and my big is um, Bianca Martinez. I think that we work out well as a pair, big little, because I mean, one, she's like the tamed down version of Lauren and um, I don't know, just the first day that I met her, I felt like we like meshed well, you know, and I feel like I don't really do that with many people. So that was pretty cool, and Allison liked her too, so if Allison liked her, I liked her. Um, and she gives hella advice, like, with whatever I need, as weird as that sounds, like, weird things that I need help with. Um, but, yeah, just, she's the best, and she, I thought it was so sweet when she gave me, like, um, I week stuff when it was my I week for Hannah. That was really cute, it was really nice. Made me cry, cheer up a little bit. Um, and I have so much I want to say. Um, just, yeah, she's always been there for me. Never I needed her for everything. And, yeah. Okay, so my big is Alice Pestuster. Um, actually, I didn't even know who Allison was until um, we picked our bags. Like, I wasn't even friends with Lauren, who I mean, is my sister. Um, but like, when we picked our bigs, the night we picked our bigs, I was like, I looked at Lauren, I was like, I think I want to pick your sister as my big, and she's like, Oh my gosh, she so wants you, and so I was like, Okay, I'm picking her, and um, I didn't know her until like we met on when we got our bigs. You know, I don't know what day that is, but um, it's just been awesome ever since. Like she is. The older sister that I need, that uh, when I have a crazy idea, she's like, Taylor, <laughs> maybe not. Like, I don't know. She just keeps me under control and tamed, which is what I need. Um, I'm gonna miss you, Allison. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. I'm gonna cry. I need you, but I know that I'll see you and um, that I'll be in your wedding. So, love you. My biggest, Katie. She started out as my grandpa. But then when my big left, she became my big. She's been there for me. I don't want to cry. Like, ever since I joined Alpha Phi, like, all the memories I can think of, she's always part of everything. Um, and she's always there for me. Like, if I need someone to talk to and I'm having a really bad day, I can just text her and she'll say something really funny or send me really funny pictures and then I'll just laugh all day. Even though she says she'll still be here, I'm really gonna miss her. My big is Delaney Atterbury. 
and she actually adopted me after, after, God, <laughs> after my big left and transfer after the first year to go to Seattle. And after that school year was over, she went and visited Hannah, and per Hannah's wishes, she adopted me. And of course she asked me and I said yes, because she's adorable. Um, Delaney is perfect. It's just the most perfect big. She is so smart. She's gorgeous. She's artistic. She, I mean, everything about her is just fantastic. And I can't imagine where I'd be not with Fee if she wasn't here with me. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. This senior class means so much to me. Like, when I was a freshman, I didn't know hardly any of them. But it was my sophomore year when I really became close with pretty much all of them. Like, people even think I'm a senior because I just hang out with them so much because they are just an amazing group of women. But in particular, there's someone really special, and that's Rachel. Rachel's one of those people that, like, she's such a hard worker and people don't notice. And she does things for others just because she's such a kind person. And she's one of those, like, people that I've always wanted to be. She helped me become a leader and she's helped me through so many different things. Rachel, I know you're sitting there and you're probably like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry any moment now. But becoming your roommate was the best thing that ever happened to me. There was a night when I walked in the back door of Alpha Phi and I just fell down and I just cried. And everyone's like, oh my god, did someone die? Something horrible happened, and the, the person that was there was you. You literally picked me up and took me to your room and listened to me cry. And from that moment, I knew you were a true friend. And when I was a freshman, I lost my big. And you became the best role model I could ever ask for. There are so many times that you have helped me and that you've been there for me and I just want to say thank you. My bid is Krista Calypsi. Um, she's the one that I count on for everything. I call her and I'll her up for naps and crying <laughs> and she stays calm. Um, she honestly assures me that everything's gonna be okay, and we're bounce each other out really well because she can kind of freak out sometimes and I'll freak out, and then we just calm each other down. That's really nice. Um, but I'm definitely gonna miss her, and I love her to the moon of that, and I hope she does well in the future. Um, my big is Katie Flawless. And for those of you, everyone should know her, but for those of you who don't, she's the sweetest, bubbliest, nicest girl in the entire world. Um, I honestly don't know how I got so lucky to be her little. Uh, <laughs> it really was a match made in heaven. Not only do we have so much in common, but we are perfect compliments to each other too. She grounds me a lot. I'm kind of a bad influence to bring out the worst, but she definitely brings out the best in me and she is exactly who I needed. Um, I'm just so thankful that I've gotten to know her and spent the time I have with her because I really couldn't have asked for a better role model and a better person to have been my big. Um, she will always be my best friend, and I'm so excited and proud of her for graduating and getting married this summer. And uh, I just have all the love in the world for you, Katie Lawless. I love you, Brittany. Um, you know I'm not an emotional person whatsoever, and I don't have feelings, so this is really hard for me. But um, I just wanted to tell you that I love you a lot, 
and I think I'm gonna fall apart next semester without you. Maybe um, one day you'll you're my person. You always will be. Everything and you touch I love you, die. and I can't wait to be your bridesmaid and for the rest of our future because we're obviously going to stay very, very close. And I want to thank you so much for always being there for me and being the best big that anyone could literally ever ask for. Hi, Haley. I just want to let you know how much I love you. Um, you're the first person I talk to in Alpha Phi. During my recruitment, um, you're the reason why I became an Alpha Phi. You um, just help me reassure my decision every day. The Alpha Phi is a place for me. You're my best friend here at Washburn and actually probably in life. Um, I just love you so much. Congratulations on graduation. Um, I'm so proud of you every day. I just... My appreciation for you grows bigger and bigger for how much you love the world and the Lord, and especially for me and your friends. Um, I can't wait to see what else goes on in your life in the next few years. Um, you're going to do great things. You're going to be the best PTA in the world. I love you so much. Okay. My name is Chelsea, and she is the best person ever. She's always there for me whenever I need her. Um, I know that I can just call her if I need anything, like, um, sometimes I need help with my biology homework, and I'm not good at science, so I can just call her, and she'll definitely help me, because that's her major. Um, we became big and little, I've known her since the beginning of high school, we actually, like, hung out all the time in class, and we had the same friends, and... Um, it was just a really good group, and so I knew when I came to Alpha that I wanted her to be my big. Um, I just love you so much, Chelsea, and I just Where want you to know that I'm with you every step of the way through low. graduate school. Only so, love you. So, I have been with Miss Julie for about the past three go. years. She's now my roommate. Um, when we were doing Bings and Littles, I wanted her to be my big, but didn't work out that way but her and Kat like tricked about it and said that like you know like oh you're gonna be my little you're gonna be my little but really ended up being a cat but me and you stay close over the years um she's a very loyal friend I hold her friendship really close to my heart um she's the kind of girl that like she knows what she wants, she goes for it, and I really admire that in her. Only know you've been we talk about a lot of things. Low. She's very easy to talk to. Only um, hate the road. If I need her, she'll listen. She'll tell you how it is, which Only is something else I really love. Low. And she's not fake. Low. She's just a really good friend and good to be around. My biggest Lenny. Um, she, she is my exact opposite, which is kind of funny because we just make the perfect pair like she's a little more quiet a little bit more reserved while while I'm like kind of wild and uh, I have some crazy ideas sometimes but I feel like we balance each other out perfectly she pulls me out of the clouds when I need to be pulled down and then sometimes I feel like I kind of bring out the wild side in her and like she's I mean even though she is a little bit more quiet she is more reserved um she still knows how to have a good time and i mean you get us two together like we know that we're gonna have fun no matter what and i feel like our relationship has as big and little has definitely grown especially in the past year um, it helps because we have the same major so we have basically all the same classes together and we work on projects together and it's it's a lot of fun because i have that special thing with my big that a lot of the girls don't have, which is really great. Um, so, but our relationship has definitely grown in the past year, and I would consider her one of my best friends. You know, she's that girl that I go to for anything. She's there for me when I need to cry. And she's there for me when I'm at my like highest moment. And I just need to tell somebody because I'm so excited. Like, she's there for everything, and. When I was asked to make this video, and I was told to keep a secret from the seniors, literally my first thing was, I go to my big and my little, and I was like, so excited, like, oh yeah, I get to make another video, and I couldn't tell her, and I was like, oh, like, this is so crazy, like, I tell my big everything, like, how can I keep this a secret? So she, she's had no idea that I've been doing this, and it's been so hard to keep this a secret, like, you're not, like, I'm not kidding, like, 
It's been so hard. <laughs> so Lenny, <laughs> I'm sorry I lied to you for the past two weeks, but um, it was all for good, something good, I promise. And I love you so much. You are my role model. You are the person that I look up to all the time. You're the person I go to when I need to tell someone anything. So thank you so much for being an amazing friend and an even more amazing thing. Like, I couldn't have asked for anyone better. So, thank you, and I love you. And I know you're not graduating until December, but this is gonna be like the hardest semester ever. So, but don't worry, I know you're still gonna be there, and I know you'll, you'll never leave because I'll make sure you never leave. So I love you. I won't give up all us, even if the sky